so dry these days. Is glowy skin impossible? Skin glowy from the inside, soft face makeup. We're gonna do a routine for no makeup makeup. Hi everyone, it's Casper. So, natural glowing makeup became a trend in 2020 with people wanting a natural, glowing, transparent skin look. Although, you know, beauty trends go by the trend, K-Beauty always prefers the moisturized look. Today, we're going to go through some skincare tips that is going to give you a soft face makeup and glowiness and also tips for glowy makeup. For the natural glow look, moisturization is key. But if you moisturize your skin too much, you guys all know, makeup can get cakey. So today I'm going to teach you how to moisturize from within. Even if you use the best makeup products, you can't get the best results if your skin isn't in the best condition. So we're going to talk all about hydrating from the inner layers of your skin and also exfoliation, which should come before any makeup goes on your skin. After cleansing, get toner and cotton pads And gently wipe across the face, like this. You have to go like in the nose as well. Step 2. When picking a face mask, choose something that leaves a light finish, not something too rich in nutrients because you know, that could also get cakey. Put a refrigerated mask on your face for the chills and keep it on for 15 minutes. I'll be back. Take it off after 15 minutes. Tap in the remaining serum. If there's any remaining serum on your face, go back in with the cotton pad and the toner and gently wipe away any remaining serum. Since most of the serum is already moisturized and absorbed into your skin, Doing this will make your skin feel light and moisturized on the inside. Step 3. Use a non-sticky serum. This one kind of feels like a primer that evens out your skin. If you're looking for a primer that has a semi-matte finish, then we definitely recommend this product. Do you feel that glow coming? Step 4. Use a moisturizing cream. Use products that have light textures that absorb fast, which helps your makeup look perfect for a longer amount of time. This is it for skincare. My skin looks so dewy. Do you feel that glow, guys? Look at this. Mm, so moisturized, but it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't feel like makeup's gonna move around or anything. And compared to the steps I went through, it doesn't feel like it's too much for anything either. Guys, the key to natural glow makeup is less is more. Before we begin with makeup steps, we're going to apply a lot of lip balm on the lips because as you guys know my lips are crazily chapped. The lip balm will soften the lips while we put on the makeup. You know that SPF is a must. We're going to apply sunscreen but we're going to apply it with a sponge. So we're going to apply a little bit more than usual. On the back of my hand, onto the face. The reason why I'm applying a little bit more than usual is because the sponge will absorb some of it and we're going to absorb it. Recently guys, I've been focusing on trying to get on the outer parts of the lips very carefully when I apply sunscreen and it's been helping a lot with this coloration around my lip. You know that darkness you get around the mouth? So make sure to go all around, just not inside the mouth. For the base makeup, we're going to use a cushion product. If you use a very oily or like a very moisturizing product for a base makeup, it can look dewy at first, but then your makeup can wear off and just look really greasy over time. Since we've made our skin look really glowy and nice enough, I'm going to go in with a semi-matte or just natural product like this. Use your third finger to get the foundation on the center of the puff like this. And when you have the most amount on the puff, Dive it on the center of your cheeks. So first I'm gonna go in with one cheek and try to cover most of the cheek as possible. And with whatever's left, go with your jawline. This way it's much easier for quantity control and it gives you a natural look. Keep doing this for all around the face. 
For the nose area where you have pores, try using your middle finger to press down into the pores so that you're covering your pores as much as possible. And remember guys, since we're trying to get a natural look, try to keep your base makeup as thin as possible. Don't worry, we're going to cover all the face once and then go in areas where you need extra coverage. Tip here, when your skin is moisturized, your hair might stick to your skin. Applying a little bit of powder. Isn't this so cute? Applying a little bit of powder to the outer parts of your face can help the stickiness go away. But remember not to apply too much because then the glowiness will go away as well. We're going to do cheeks and eye makeup using a liquid blusher. Using this blush, I'm gonna use my fingers and apply it on my cheeks. And for a natural look, I'm gonna blend it with a sponge. And we're gonna put it on the eyelids as well, using the sponge like this. Like a little, little bit. Get a lipstick that is similar to the color of your blush and get a tinted lip oil. First of all, let's wipe away the lip balm on our lips. The dead skin cells on our lips would have been softer by now, making it super easy to wipe off. Super soft. Now let's go in with a lipstick that's similar to the tone of the overall look. This is a liquid lipstick, guys. And then apply a tinted lip oil all over your lips for a moisturized look. Like this, you get the super watery lip look. In order to have moisturized lips, guys, always remember to exfoliate it first. So, how did you guys like our natural, glowy skincare to makeup tutorial? If you're having one of those, oh, my skin is so dry, or why is my makeup not staying on, one of those days, then please follow our steps one by one and we promise it'll work. What other makeup looks do you guys want us to talk about? Please leave them down in the comments below and we will talk about it on the future episodes of Beauty Hackers. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!